Well, hello everybody, and welcome to a fun little video. This is going to be a little video that we're going to release today, okay? It's called, How to Make Your Own Cloning Hormone. As we have been talking about basically for years, we're going to make a comprehensive cloning video where we're going to do different types of cloning for everybody. I've always talked about the type of uh, technique there. I call it the double dip, where one, you're going to use a rooting hormone powder. We got uh, stim root number two here, okay? But I like to use a rooting hormone powder with that. Money's tight right now, so I'm going to show you how to make your own rooting hormone today. It's going to be real easy, and it's uh, pretty simple. What are you going to need? Well, you're going to need some aloe vera gel. we got some uh, natural aloe vera gel here. Pick that up from our local London Drugs. I mean, in a perfect world, I'd love like just a straight aloe vera gel, but try finding that. It's, it's hard, you know. What else are you going to need? Well, you're going to need some honey. So luckily for us... Okay, I got a big giant thing of natural, unpasteurized, local honey, okay? And then, you're also going to need cinnamon, okay? Standard ground cinnamon, okay, it's fine. This is the no-name brand for those from you from Canada. It's the cheaper brand, but I mean, again, ooh, cinnamon, it's, it's all you need, okay? So, let's get to how the hell we going to make this shit. So like I said, all we need, aloe vera, honey, and cinnamon. Seems weird, but legitimately, this actually bloody works, my friends, okay? So first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a measuring spoon. That's right, we're going to get a measuring spoon. So basically, the recipe calls for one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of our aloe vera gel, and then one teaspoon of our cinnamon. We're going to do a times four batch today, okay? So that's going to be four tablespoons of our honey, four tablespoons of our aloe vera, okay? And then we're going to do a teaspoon of our cinnamon. So we'll start with the aloe vera because it'll be the easiest to wash off our spoon, measuring spoon. Okay, so again, you know, try to make things as even as you can. But if it's not super even, it's okay too. So there we go. There's one. There's two, there's three, there's four, screw it, let's go big or go home, let's go five, six, seven, And eight. Now, remember, one, you can use the excess on your skin. It's good for your skin, yeah. But wash your spoon before you get into your honey pot. I use this for food, so we don't want to have any cross-contamination between that shit. Not that aloe vera is anything that's going to kill you. But again, this isn't like a, you know, it's all natural aloe vera, but it's got other crap in it, obviously. But nothing that should get in the way of what we're trying to do. So let's go wash our measuring spoon. All right, so... As you can see, lots of natural, beautiful honey there. So I'm gonna go one. Get some nice, there we go. Okay, so one, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a one. Sorry about that, dogs. All right, so here's number two. There we go. Get that in there. Obviously, have clean hands when you're doing this. Two. Three. <laughs> four. That's a big four. There's a four. Here we go. Four. Six. Seven. And eight. There we 
go. Mm. Now we need to do eight teaspoons, okay, of cinnamon. Part of why we're making such a big batch here is it's gonna be easier for us to blend this all down and mix it all up together there. Okay, so we got one. Two. Three. Four. <coughs> five. Six. Seven. Hey. Now the real trick here is we gotta get this all mixed together to where it all kind of dissolves within and to itself. So we basically need to incorporate the honey, the owl, and the cinnamon. I am going to use an immersion blender to finish that emulsification. But to begin with, as we all know, cinnamon's a little hydrophobic by nature. So we're gonna just get in there and we're gonna try to manually initially incorporate these things here together just so the cinnamon can kinda get intermixed in there a little bit, okay? Before we hit it with that emulsion, uh, uh, emulsion blender or submersion blender, right? So you see that? Oh yes, yeah. so we're getting that all in sort of incorporated there, okay? Once that all starts to kind of come together, it's gonna to loosen up real nice there, okay? Now, we're gonna get our emulsion blended out and get up there. We're ready to rock, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna get in there and we're just gonna hit it a little bit there. Just like so. I'm hitting it on a low power, because again, we don't, we're not breaking anything down. We're just, you know, getting this all to go together real nice. This should be good. Now, as you can see, it's a little more viscous, for example, than, you know, your traditional rooting hormone gel. It's still enough. You could go right now directly from this and dip your cuttings in and go from there. But what you could also do is take this, throw it in the fridge, let it sit over some time. And by sitting in the fridge, it's going to thicken up the actual rooting hormone gel itself. But basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is as simple as it is. You can then take your cuttings, you scrape the bottoms, you dip it in, you put it in, whether it's your peat moss or you're putting it in the, the water, you want to put it in some dirt, you want to put it in some soil, you want to put it in some rock, well, whatever the hell you're doing. Whatever your uh, desired way of doing your clone is, you got this ready to go. Another wonderful thing that you can actually do is you can actually use this shit on your aquaponics cloner as well. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna dissolve some of this in water, mix it into your water that's gonna go into the main basin of your aquaponics cloner there, which is what we're gonna be doing. And that's gonna give a little extra oomph, plus the cinnamon the and the honey, all that is gonna help maintain a healthy environment in your aquaponic cloner that's gonna protect you from weird growth, getting that weird gray sludge up in there. But baby, what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna put a lid on this, we're gonna throw it in the fridge, thicken it up a bit, and boom, we just made our own bloody rooting hormone. Thanks for tuning into this video. For making a smaller batch, remember, one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of aloe gel, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, the true grower is the forever student. The true grower is not afraid to take risks. The true grower makes educated, stupid decisions. Love yourselves. Love your plants. Have fun. Don't be afraid to try new things. The true grower makes educated, stupid decisions. Love yourselves. Love your plants. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. Check out PotsquatchSales.com now to buy all of our genetics hats, t-shirts, grinders, papers, all that other shit that we sell on there. That's right. We also got a lighting brand, Squatch Lighting Systems from Soul Strip. Check that out too. All right. We'll see you on the next one.
This will be a small point or a reference point in the greater cloning video that we are now starting to work on. All right. Peace and love, everybody. Word to your mother.